It varies from house to house, town to town, and season to season. But the typical U.S. family spends about $2,200 every year for household energy use. That's a lot of money. And it's a lot of energy. Let's take a quick look at where our energy dollars are spent around the house. We've got refrigerators, stoves, ovens, and dishwashers, hot water heaters, washers, dryers, and furnaces, and air conditioners, and lights, and floor lamps, and table lamps, and televisions, and computers, and computer monitors, and printers, modems, and hard drives, and entertainment centers, maybe a game station, maybe a garage door opener. We've got battery chargers, and cell phone chargers, electric knives, coffee machines, vacuum machines, sewing machines, power drills, power saws, DVD players, CD players. Lots of big things and little things that all add up to a lot of energy use and a lot of money you're spending every month. How would you like to save money every month? Now you can with the RCI's new Energy Conservation Program, aimed at achieving reductions in utility usage through its utility billing program and increasing the overall energy efficiency levels throughout the Army. As a Balfour Beatty Communities resident, through the utility billing program, we can help you conserve our precious resources, follow Army policy, and put money back in your pocket for doing the right thing. Balfour Beatty Communities is proud to assist the Office of the Secretary of Defense in helping our residents use energy wisely with its Go Green, Be Green, Live Army Green initiative. The Army has implemented a utility policy. We have developed a program that's based on fairness. And what we do is make soldiers responsible only for their consumption. Now this program is mandated by the Secretary of Defense's office and is congressionally supported. It works like this. Part of your monthly rent goes toward paying for utilities in your home. Depending upon where you live and what kind of home you have, your monthly utility bill could include electricity, natural gas, or other utility charges. And over the months, each home establishes what is called a baseline of your utility charges, or an average of what you use over time. Your home's energy baseline utility charge amount varies every month, based upon the time of year and the historic use of energy in your home in years past. We establish a baseline based on your consumption patterns. If you go below that consumption pattern, then we reward you with either cash or credit, and if you go above it, then you're responsible to pay it. From your monthly baseline, we apply a 5% over and under margin. If your utility bill goes up a little, we won't charge you right away. If it goes down and you do a little bit of a refund, we won't send you a check right away either. Plus or minus 5%, we keep track month by month. If you live like most folks, you won't ever have to pay any extra for living comfortably in your home. You do pay extra if you use more energy than everybody else. And if you use less energy than everybody else? They'll mail you the, uh, the difference in a check. When our neighbors say, oh, we got our electric bill today and we owe. We were using our air conditioner a lot. And I say, oh, well, they owe us money because we're saving so much. It works out pretty good. I think I've only paid in probably three times and I've been here almost two years. It's going to get cold and it's going to get hot. How much money you spend to keep cool and stay warm is up to you. Why would you have the AC on and the windows open? That makes no sense. You're cooling the outside. <laughs> well, when I leave, I like unplug my cell phone charger when I'm done using it, and I turn off all the lights and the TV when I leave my room. And then when I leave the house, I turn off everything. I really, really believe that it makes a difference, so I unplug them every day. Because you're not really using them, and you don't really need them, so there's no reason to have them on. My sister always reminds me to um, turn off the TV when I'm not um, watching it. If you don't, you would have to pay for more energy, and you're just wasting money. When it saves you money to save energy, then, then people do it. If I use less energy each month, they'll refund me the money. The important thing is that your utility bill is already paid for. It's up to you to decide whether you pay more each month or you get money back for doing the right thing. At Balfour Beatty Communities, we've already made it easy for you to save on energy costs. We use Energy Star appliances, energy efficient construction materials, and energy smart maintenance practices. We put compact fluorescent light bulbs in your home's permanent fixtures and we work hard to make sure your home and all of its vital systems are in top shape and up to date. We maintain your furnace and your air conditioner, 
and we want you to tell us when something around your home might need attention. Together, we can all be good stewards of our natural resources. You can make a difference just by conserving. You can make a difference by reducing our reliance on energy. Just like soldiers are leading the fight against the global war of terrorism, we see soldiers and their families are being good stewards about saving our nation's energy. So, what can you do to save energy and money around your home? A lot of things are really simple to do. First, check out your thermostat. In the summer, set it higher so your air conditioner isn't running all the time. In the winter, turn it down. Close your windows to keep out both the summer heat and the cold winter air. Heating and cooling make up almost half of the total average household utility cost. And you can save a whole lot of energy dollars by wisely adjusting your thermostat and regulating your doors and windows. Don't run your dishwasher until it's full. And don't run your washer till you've got a full load of laundry. Use cold water whenever you can and you'll save energy dollars. Contact us to adjust your water heater or to do an energy audit on your home. And we'll help you do all that you can to conserve energy. Before I go to bed, I make sure every light in the house is turned off, all the televisions, even the digital cable boxes, I make sure those things are turned off and I make sure that I unplug the cell phone um, chargers when they're not in use. It's the simple things, really. Adjusting the thermostat, conserving water, turning off lights, using power strips. It's up to all of us to use energy wisely. It's good for our country, our families, and our future. Balfour Beatty Communities is proud to assist the Army with their utility billing program and help our residents to conserve our precious resources. Come visit with us to learn how we can help you conserve these resources and save additional energy dollars around your home. The TV, when we're done using it, I turn it off. The computer, too. Shut the door so that it's like the house is sealed so we don't have to use so much energy on the heat to heat up our house. Turn your thermostat up two degrees when it's hot out and down two degrees when it's cold out. I take shorter showers and I turn off my light and TV whenever I'm not in the room. Turn off the lights. Turn off the lights and unplug all the plugs. Getting those curly light bulbs instead of the circle ones. I turn off my TV whenever I'm not in my room and I turn off my lights and whenever I'm done charging my phone I turn it off. You can also turn the water off when you're not using it because every drop counts. I turn the TV off, turn the lights off, turn the water off. It's really simple. It's just simple. You just turn it off. It's pretty easy. Just turn the light off when you leave because if we don't turn off the lights then we're using up most of the energy and by using up most of the energy, we might not have any more energy in the future. Try to conserve energy because our world is not going to last if we don't. The more we conserve it, the more we'll have for our future. It's important to conserve energy because it helps the planet. The world can be changed if we all help clean the planet. One person can make a big difference. It's the right thing to do to save energy.